The history of our planet is etched into stone, layer upon layer of sediment and minerals accumulating over billions of years, each whispering secrets of past climates, biological revolutions, and cataclysmic events. Among these vast epochs, the Sidarian period stands as a pivotal turning point in Earth's geologic and biological narrative. As the first geologic period in the Paleoproterozoic era, spanning from approximately 2,500 million years ago, Ma, to 2,300 million years ago, the Sidarian was an age of profound transformation. It ushered in monumental changes in Earth's atmospheric composition, ocean chemistry, and microbial ecology, setting the stage for the complex biosphere we inhabit today. To truly grasp the importance of the Sidarian period, one must step back and consider the broader context of Earth's early history. For much of the Archean Aeon, Earth was a volatile planet, characterized by high heat flow, rampant volcanism, and an atmosphere largely devoid of free oxygen. Life, as we understand it, was restricted to simple, anaerobic prokaryotes. It was a world of extremes, and yet within this chaos, life found a foothold. The emergence of photosynthetic cyanobacteria, which harnessed sunlight to produce energy, was a biological innovation of unparalleled importance. As these microorganisms proliferated, they began to slowly, almost imperceptibly, alter the chemistry of the planet, most notably by producing oxygen as a byproduct of photosynthesis. The Sidarian period marks the critical juncture when the cumulative impact of this microbial activity reached a tipping point. During this epoch, the oceans were saturated with dissolved iron. The oxygen released by cyanobacteria reacted with this iron, resulting in the massive deposition of banded iron formations, BIFs, a geologic phenomenon unique in both scale and implication. These iron-rich layers, found across the globe, stand as enduring testaments to the planetary-scale processes unfolding during the Sidarian. This video argues that the Sidarian period represents a defining epoch in Earth's history, not merely as a chronological marker but as a transformative phase wherein the biosphere irrevocably altered the planet's geochemical cycles. Through the interplay of biological innovation and geophysical feedbacks, the Sidarian laid the groundwork for the Great Oxidation Event, GO, reshaping the Earth's atmosphere and setting into motion a cascade of events, including mass extinction and global glaciation, that would ultimately lead to the emergence of complex life. In the following sections, this video will first explore the geological and biological mechanisms that dominated the Sidarian, particularly the formation of banded iron formations and the metabolic activities of cyanobacteria. Next, it will delve into the environmental and atmospheric consequences, including the Great Oxidation Event and the controversial, Oxygen Catastrophe. Finally, the video will consider alternative interpretations and contemporary debates within the scientific community, such as the proposal to redefine the period as the Oxygenian, and reflect on the broader implications of the Sidarian for understanding planetary habitability and Earth system science. The most defining feature of the Sidarian period lies in its namesake, iron. Derived from the Greek word sideros, meaning iron, the Sidarian witnessed the peak of banded iron formation, bif, deposition, a geological signature that encapsulates the dynamic interaction between early microbial life and Earth's geochemistry. The formation of BIFs was driven primarily by the metabolic activity of anaerobic cyanobacteria, which thrived in Earth's sunlit, iron-rich oceans. These microorganisms performed oxygenic photosynthesis, releasing molecular oxygen, O, as a byproduct. Initially, this oxygen did not accumulate in the atmosphere. Instead, it encountered vast quantities of dissolved ferrous iron, Fe squared, in the oceans. The chemical reaction between oxygen and iron resulted in the precipitation of magnetite, MULTIVALENTFE304, and other iron oxides, which settled on the ocean floor in rhythmic layers. These alternating bands of iron-rich and silica-rich sediments would, over time, lithify into the spectacular BIF sequences that are found today in places such as Western Australia, Canada, and South Africa. The scale of these formations is staggering. Some BIF deposits extend for hundreds of kilometers and are several hundred meters thick, representing an immense removal of iron from Earth's oceans. Their deposition marks not just a geological process, but a planetary turning point, the gradual oxidation of the oceans. As iron was stripped from the water column, the oceans began to clear, shifting from a greenish hue, tinted by dissolved iron, 
to the blue transparency more familiar today. This process, however, was not purely gradual. Geological records suggest episodic bursts of oxygen production, punctuated by intervals of stagnation or regression, revealing a complex interplay of biological, geological, and chemical feedbacks. From a broader perspective, the formation of BIFs during the Sidarian highlights a profound principle of Earth system science, the capacity of the biosphere to modulate and transform the planet's geochemical state. In a very real sense, life during the Sidarian was writing the chemical code of the oceans and atmosphere, inscribing its presence not only in DNA but in stone. With the oceans increasingly depleted of dissolved iron, a pivotal transition began to take shape during the latter half of the Sidarian period. For the first time in Earth's history, free oxygen, no longer bound to iron, began to accumulate in the atmosphere. This dramatic shift, known as the Great Oxidation Event, GO, marks one of the most transformative episodes in Earth's 4.5 billion year history. Although the GO is traditionally dated to around 2.4 to 2.1 billion years ago, its roots lie squarely in the Sidarian, when oxygen production began to outpace the planet's natural oxygen sinks. The accumulation of oxygen had profound consequences. On one hand, it heralded the eventual emergence of complex, aerobic life forms capable of utilizing oxygen to generate far more energy than their anaerobic predecessors. On the other hand, for most life on Earth at the time, oxygen was a poison. Anaerobic microorganisms, which had dominated Earth's biosphere for over a billion years, were now faced with a hostile environment. Many species perished, unable to tolerate the reactive oxygen species that began to permeate their habitats. This mass extinction, triggered not by impact or volcanoes but by a slow chemical change, underscores the radical power of atmospheric transformation. The term, oxygen catastrophe, has been coined to describe this event. It is a catastrophe not only for the anaerobic biosphere but also for Earth's climate. Free oxygen began reacting with methane, CH, a potent greenhouse gas that had previously helped keep the early Earth warm despite a faint young sun. As methane levels declined, Earth's greenhouse insulation diminished, leading to one of the earliest and most severe glaciations in planetary history, the Huronian Glaciation. The Huronian Glaciation, which may have lasted tens of millions of years, is thought to have covered much of Earth's surface in ice, even reaching equatorial regions in a possible, snowball Earth, scenario. While causality remains debated, the link between the rise of atmospheric oxygen, methane depletion, and dramatic climate cooling is increasingly supported by geochemical proxies and sedimentary records. Thus, the Sidarian period was not merely the beginning of atmospheric oxygen, it was a period of cascading crises and opportunities, of biological death and planetary rebirth. It set the stage for future eons, wherein oxygen would not just persist, but become the defining feature of Earth's biosphere and atmosphere. While the traditional chronometric designation of the Sidarian period spans from 2500 Ma to 2300 Ma, recent scientific discourse has raised questions about the sufficiency of time-based definitions in capturing the true essence of geologic periods. In 2012, a group of geologists proposed an alternative classification based on stratigraphy, the study of rock layers and layering, rather than strict chronological boundaries. They introduced the concept of the Oxygenian period, defined not by a fixed time span, but by the lower edge of iron deposition layers marking the transition to atmospheric oxygenation. The rationale behind this proposal is compelling. Unlike the Sidarian, which is anchored to absolute dates, the Oxygenian emphasizes the process of atmospheric oxygen accumulation and the resulting stratigraphic changes. This approach recognizes that geologic transformations are not always synchronous across the globe. Oxygenation likely occurred in staggered pulses, with local variations driven by oceanic currents, microbial diversity, and tectonic activity. A stratigraphy-based system allows for a more nuanced, evidence-driven framework that can evolve with new discoveries. Critics, however, caution that renaming or redefining periods may lead to confusion, particularly in educational and cross-disciplinary contexts. The utility of fixed chronometric divisions lies in their clarity and ease of reference. Nevertheless, the debate reflects a deeper question in geology. Should Earth's history be divided by time or by events? Regardless of nomenclature, 
What remains indisputable is that the Sidarian, or Oxygenian, captures a period of profound planetary transformation. It stands as a bridge between a world of anoxic simplicity and one of oxygen-rich complexity. Whether labeled by time or process, the era demands recognition as a cornerstone of Earth's evolutionary saga. The Sidarian period represents far more than a temporal segment of the Paleoproterozoic era. It is a monumental chapter in Earth's story, one in which the quiet labor of microorganisms rewrote the fate of the planet. Through the slow and relentless production of oxygen, cyanobacteria triggered a cascade of geochemical changes that cleared the oceans, transformed the atmosphere, and restructured the biosphere. The formation of banded iron formations during this period bears silent witness to the invisible but momentous work of life on a planetary scale. As explored in this video, the consequences of the Sidarians' events were both catastrophic and foundational. The Great Oxidation event decimated anaerobic ecosystems but simultaneously laid the groundwork for aerobic respiration and, eventually, the rise of multicellular life. The oxygen catastrophe, as it is sometimes called, underscores the double-edged nature of innovation in Earth history, where progress often comes at a cost. Additionally, the link between oxygenation and the Huronian glaciation serves as a stark reminder of the Earth system's sensitivity to atmospheric and chemical change. Even today, debates continue over how best to categorize and interpret this formative period. The proposed Oxygenian period, grounded in stratigraphy, offers an alternative lens through which to view this age, not as a number on a timeline, but as a geological revolution. In reaffirming the central thesis of this video, that the Sidarian period was a turning point in Earth's geologic and biological evolution, it becomes clear that our planet's history is not just a tale of rocks and dates, but a living chronicle of interactions between life and environment. The legacy of the Sidarian lives on in every breath we take, in every oxygen molecule we absorb, a reminder that even the smallest forms of life can reshape a world. As humanity faces its own era of climate and environmental upheaval, the lessons of the Sidarian period are more relevant than ever. They show us the power of seemingly minor forces to drive global change, and the importance of understanding our planet as a complex, interconnected system. The Sidarian was a beginning, not just of oxygen, but of a dynamic Earth that continues to evolve, and challenges, today. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more content like this, please consider subscribing to our channel. By subscribing, you'll be notified when we upload new videos. Thank you again for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in our next video.